Let me show yeah. you a clip, Rob. It, it, this is June of 2023. Yep. June. Tw this is three months after you bought them, right? Yep. This is production coordinator Sylvain Fernandez from MindGeek ALO. Rob, go ahead and play this clip. So it gets some educational aspects. So go ahead, Rob. To get on, what do you have to do? To get on, what do you Not have much. to do? Probably that much, yeah. How easy is it for like an underage person to view the site? Go to the site. Let's say you're 12 years old. You're still figuring out your sexuality, maybe even your gender. Wouldn't it be helpful to see not a celebration, but just like maybe a normalization of something that you think is what you want, you know? Probably helps a lot. Let's say I was 12 and I saw like Trans Angels, I saw all these different sites. It would help me figure out what I do like and what I don't like. I need to try to push stuff that's more, less less accepted. Like putting a, putting a, a trans male or a trans female in a scene, you wouldn't get that on a normal mainstream site. So test it out. See if you get a bigger audience with it. See if you can convert somebody, right? Like maybe somebody who's never looked for anything like that might find it interesting and click on it. Same thing for buy stuff, same thing for gay. If you've seen our previous undercover releases, you may be familiar with Mike Farley, the current Pornhub product manager who became one of Pornhub's first employees over 10 years ago. And Dylan Rice, the senior scriptwriter for Pornhub's parent company, MindGeek, now rebranding as ALO, who has written scripts for MindGeek's porn sites and advertisements for over five years. Today, meet Sil Fernandez. Fernandez is a production coordinator for some of MindGeek's plethora of porn Bob, is sites. This is James O'Keefe or somebody else? Is this James O'Keefe or somebody else? Somebody else. Okay. While states are currently enacting laws to require IDs to prevent children from entering porn sites, these three men talked to our undercover reporter about children viewing pornography on MindGeek sites, including Pornhub and TransAngelsAndMen.com, which are MindGeek sites featuring studio-produced transgender and gay-focused pornography. How easy is it for like an underage person to view the site? You can pause it right here. Sure. The idea. So this yeah. is this is this is. F uh, 15 months ago, yes. right? That this mm -hmm. is taking place. And it's not like people that have just been there for six months. It's a guy that was there for, who was it? He was a product developer or whatever his name was, the main guy. It seems to be like a regular day at, you know, Pornhub. And this is three months after you bought no, him so when I, this was I, recorded. I, I, I'm going to disagree. Go ahead. Respectfully. Yeah. Okay? What you have here, you have employees who think they're on a date with a woman. That's the context of the creation of these videos. And they are not properly representing the truth about trust and safety. Although there's like three different topics mixed in. So it's important that we're very clear. I'm a clear guy. I like to always get to the truth and the point of something. Yeah. So number one, every single video is reviewed by a human. We have age ID consent for uploaders, everybody appearing in content. There is absolutely no incentive to do otherwise on our platform. I always make that point. Like from a business perspective, there's no incentive to do anything but the highest standards of trust and safety. So you have a company with 1,500 people, you're gonna have people who are saying nonsense. Technical on, product manager? So I, like, I have to say this, this is not someone, obviously when I'm, when I'm reviewing the company and I look yeah. very, very carefully yeah. at it, including spending time, none of these, these, these are not trust and safety staff, these are not moderators, these are not people in compliance. They, whatever idea they have, although it's very interesting, we learned something from these videos. We did, yep. We, we actually learned a very important lesson, which was you can have a company of 1,500 people and you'll have graphic designers and you'll have salespeople and customer support. All of them need to be educated on our trust and safety system. So we actually, the, the company in, in, in response, and I think it was absolutely the right thing to do, now whether you, doesn't matter if you're the janitor at ALO, you will have mandatory training so you'll understand what's happening, even though it's a job that has nothing to do with you, but so you are absolutely educated on trust and safety because you, you, it's just, it became clear to us that that was something important. Not that it became clear that it reflects on what the reality is, but you know these people were woefully misinformed about the truth of trust and safety. Mm -hmm. And then I think the other thing that's being referred to here is um, the issue of children accessing the site, right? Which is something that um, we've been talking about a lot. This is an issue that you know we take quite seriously and the fact that we've mentioned a couple of times as well that our sites are strictly adult entertainment um, we have a zero chip. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. If it's adult, it's the minor. 
Yeah, we, and we, yeah. we also don't want miners viewing Correct. the site. So that was the question that was asked there. It's important. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can focus He said, that. how easy is it to get on the site? No, he meant get on to watch. To, to watch. Yeah. To watch. This has nothing right? to do with uploads. This is about... Patrick, you got to understand that distinction. He well, was wait, being wait asked. That's also a problem. Totally a problem. And, that, yes. and, and we, we are fighting hard every day to fix that. I can tell you what we're doing. Mm-hmm. What we want to have happen, what we want the adult Your internet to traffic will drop dramatically. Absolutely not. ID everybody. Okay. W- no, r- disagree. Let's think about really? it this way. Let's talk business for a second. Right. Okay? Right. I always say there's two reasons we don't want young people on the platform. One, we think it's wrong for young people to watch. Right. Okay? We think it's wrong. Kids cannot distinguish between fantasy and reality. I'll give you a guarantee. Just, you say that, I'm going to listen to it. No, I'm no. going to tell you something. Your, your, your traffic will drop no, 90%, the, but go ahead. You Come on, that's a, that's a I'm ludicrous, tell you that's a minute, ludicrous ahead. assessment go, go, that you'll, 90% You'll see when are, I say this. Go ahead. Okay. So that's number yeah. one. Number two, from a business perspective, think about it this way. Yeah. We are an ad-powered platform. Mm-hmm. Our advertisers can only sell products and services to adults with adult credit cards or other similar right. adult sexual services. Right. So for them, just think about it from a cost-per-click perspective. Every person who clicks an ad who's underage yeah. gets them zero benefit and costs them money. Sure. So from an ad marketplace, nobody wants young people on the platform. Okay. So do you know what we're doing every single day to actually change this? What's that? We are pushing for something called device-based age verification. We want it to be the law that every single operating system, Google, Apple, Microsoft, by default blocks adult. I want to think about that for a second. We want- every Blocks, blocks what? Adult. We want it should to be block blocked. porn. Yes, we want to be default. blocked by default. Oh, and the only I'm way, sorry. got it. The only got way it. to be able to access adults is that on your device, you have age assurance built in there. So in other words, instead of like nowadays parental controls, you have to opt into them. We want them to be that you have to opt out of mm-hmm. them. That is Pornhub's position. We want to be blocked by default because we don't want a single minor to be able to access the site. Now, at the same time, we totally reject this yeah. idea that you're going to hold up your ID and give it to every porn there site on the you internet. Because it's nonsense. Yeah. It's nonsense. But that's the only way to make sure kids don't log in. No, in fact, that will make sure kids do log in to all of the non-compliant How? platforms. How? Because it goes like this. Let's say we've tested it, in sure. fact. Sure. Mm-hmm. State of Louisiana. Uh-huh. Okay? We are the only major adult platform that's actually complying with the law in Louisiana. Right. So we take what's called LA Wallet. That's a Louisiana state ID. We accept it. We don't ever get the identifying information. We just get a thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay? Within 24 hours of implementing that, we had an 80% drop in traffic. Not because 80% of the people are young, but because 80% of the people are like, I'm not giving my ID to a porn site. And they're not wrong. So instead, I always say this, the device should be the key to the internet. We will be the lock. That means that it will actually prevent young people from accessing uh, adult content because the point of entry, that is the device itself, will be prohibited from accessing adult. And we are pushing for that at the state level, at the federal level. Can I give you the counter to it? I'm not a lawyer. Mm-hmm. But I, I like to argue and debate because it's fun to do, right? Sure is. So when you told me earlier the process to upload a video, yep. I had to not only show you the ID through this outside website that you guys use, yes. third party, right? Then I had to do the whatever the Apple is to make sure I'm not a picture, yep. mm-hmm. right? I'm doing this to know 100% who is getting access to it, right? You can do that as well for people that are watching the content. Sure. But if you do, you will lose 90% no. of your traffic. The point is, the but technology But you will use exists, 90% of your traffic. The technology exists to do, what? to do it, to verify age. Sure, why don't you do it? If we do it, and yeah. we have tested it out, we've right. tested it out in France and Louisiana, people just go to non-compliant sites that don't, by the way, do what Who we cares? do when it comes Who to Who cares what they do? Because I mean, do- the difference is if you're going to non-compliant sites, there are... Hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of adult I, sites that exist out I there. I disagree. I but, think here's what will happen. I think that what will happen is the following. Okay. So you're making the argument of legalizing marijuana and making it ex- so expensive will make people to go buy illegal weed from no. bad quality. That's the argument you're <laughs> no, no, making. No, no. Because mm-hmm. think about what, it for a second. what will happen is if I'm the other side and if I want to eliminate all of the non-compliant sites, Right. These guys have to find a way to make money. And I, 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 merchant services I'm very familiar with, if you can't get merchant services to accept payment, you know, right now, Visa used to have a hard time with chargeback 3%. Now they're at 1%. They sure. want to be at 1%, if not even less than 1%. Mm-hmm. You know exactly what I'm talking about because I've dealt with Visa, you know, uh, MasterCard, all these guys. So if all of a sudden these guys don't have a method of getting paid, so what if they're going to a non-compliant website to watch porn? Those because guys will be those, shut down soon as well. They're, they're not going to be, though, because the issue is 
the enforcement is not happening. Why don't you do it? Who cares what they're doing? No, no, we, we do, do it. Do. We what do I'm it. Saying to, why don't no. you? Why don't you have everybody do this and do the ID to watch porn? Because no, no. if we're talking about everybody again, that's millions of websites. Who is going to go and make sure but that every be, single be the website? Beat the pace setter. Beat the pace. Beat no, no, the trailblazer. But think about it this way. No, no, it's it's, it's like you can either stop it at the source. Am you I know? sounding confusing, but, Rob? What my ask is because I feel like I'm I'm delusional right now. Do you understand what I'm requesting? I do. What, so, can you repeat what I just said? I'm just curious. Why they're not using the verification system. Which verification system am I asking about? The ID. And and the face the that they do not, this. Yeah, I don't know the term for the head right. nod. You were, it's you a biometric were, scan. Biometric, biometric scan. scan. Yeah. Okay, so if you're doing a biometric scan to upload a video, why can't you do a biometric scan on who watches it so kids don't watch it? No, but, but don't you realize you can either do it, have 100,000 or a million sites doing this and taking people's ID, or you can have three operating systems do it one time, Apple, Google, Microsoft, and you have locked down that device to be able to either access adult or not access adult. I mean, that is a no brainer. And we're not the only ones saying this. Mm -hmm. Meta has come out and said that device-based age verification is the way to go. In fact, the French government just came out and said that. Anybody who understands the way the internet works says, look, hmm, either you can go give your ID to every single porn site you visit. And look, we are responsible. We take privacy seriously. But I always said this, like if, if this was the law that every site had to take ID, mm -hmm. I'd stop running a porn site. I'd just go run an identity fraud site. And I'd say, well, I'd love to show you some porn, but first I need your ID. What a ridiculously insecure method and, and totally violating well, you know of, the, of the privacy because of 130 you, million people you, a day. If you did do that, 90% of people who watch it would never go on your website and you will lose ad dollars. That's what would happen. No, but we want it to happen on the device. We want it right. to happen on the device. But kids can get access to it from different places. They don't just go watch it through okay. the phone or they, they, a person can go on the internet and you know, a computer and watch porn and say, here's what I'm doing, I'm over 18 years old. No, no, we have operating systems now that almost exclusively require a login, a user account. And what we are saying is that the default for every user account, I want you to understand right. this, Every user account cannot see porn. You buy a new computer, mm -hmm. it cannot access adult. It's important that you understand that. You upload, you update your, your iPhone to the new version, yeah. like that, it can't access adult until you verify on that device with all your other secure tokens, your credit card, your health information, and then that becomes your key to the adult internet. Like this is obvious. Of course that's the way to do it, to do it from one device to be the key to all, as opposed to having tell every platform, randomporn.com to take people's ID. Your impression is that if you do that, it prevents what? Kids from watching porn? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. First, so, so why do you then do the verification of when people upload videos, their face and their ID. Because these are, these are, yeah, go ahead. These Alex. are people that are monetizing their content yes. with us. These are people that are business people that are uploading adult content to our site. Yeah. And for that reason, it's of course important that we're verifying the consent and identity of those people. It's very different than a private citizen trying to watch content. Uh, if you were to do the same standard to people that are watching porn so kids wouldn't do it, what percentage of your uh, viewership would drop? It's interesting. That exact mm -hmm. question was considered in Texas when we challenged the constitutionality yes. of this law. Okay, and it, we, we, sure. we took this to court because we said private individuals in the United States who have a First Amendment right to see this mm -hmm. should not have to identify themselves to the platform, which the government could get access to. And you know right. what the judge in Texas said, mm -hmm. by the way, who was a Ronald Reagan appointee, not some namby-pamby liberal judge. He said that if somebody, for example, wants to go see gay porn in Texas, totally mm -hmm. legal. They have to give their ID to that platform, have it verified by the government, the same government that 20 years ago, not 200 years ago, 20 years ago tried to outlaw being gay in Texas. Like, we don't want to live in a society where you have to give your ID every single time you go to look at legal content. Having it locked down on the oh, device I, avoids I, all those privacy I, issues. I, I, think, I think you're assuming that if you do that, kids still won't be able to watch porn. Under eight, 18 kids will not be able to watch. No, I'm, I'm saying that's as that's the biggest step that you could take not the to ensure no, that I, young people cannot access adult I, content. I think there would be a bigger step than that. I think that is a step to not have to lose 90% of your people that are trying to consume the content because that'll be like, for example, the the other company that was called what? Brazer, Bra, uh, uh, Brazzers? Bra, Brazzers. Brazzers, is it members only or is it open mm -hmm. to everybody? Mm -hmm. It's members only. Yeah. Okay, so that means I can't see anything until if I, uh, what would be a co equivalent of a browser? Is that like the Netflix, Netflix. of porn? Netflix. Oh, it's a Netflix of porn. Yeah. So you're paying 10 bucks a month and I can consume whatever I want. Correct. And if I'm buying it, you're going to see my age and what I am anyways, because I got card. a credit card. Yeah. Correct. Okay, got it. That model to me is straight up. Great. Makes sense. Go do your thing. 
But it's different if somebody just can come on Pornhub, log on, watch whatever they want, and they're 12, 13 years old. Which is why having device-based age verification, people have individual devices, they have individual user accounts, it would lock it down by mm -hmm. default. Like this, and, and the funny thing is, this has very little to do with porn. Porn's the example here. But we need to secure the internet. Both we need to secure adult spaces from kids coming in, but here's the real revolution. We need to keep kids' spaces safe from adults. Correct. We need age assurance methods on the internet. The idea of doing it like scattershot, having every site with a different protocol for verifying age, when we have three operating system manufacturers who already have the tech built in, by the way. Apple will let you store your, your IDs and use them for all sorts of purposes. It already has it into your device. So the device would just become the key to all the spaces that we want has to be Has that already segregated. started or not yet? Oh, it's happening. Mm -hmm. it's, it is absolutely happening. Uh, we're pushing for it every day. When but, you're saying it's happening right now, what, what, are you, what are you saying? You're saying that right now, kids are not consuming content and porn no, on porn. What, what I mean is the tech exists. The tech has been built. Google has their version, Apple has their version, and Microsoft has Who's their version. Who's using it right now? But they're not mandatory. That's the difference. They're opt-in. Parents have to turn them on. And I say this, right? Like, I look at my kids' family link on Google. How does family link really know how old my kids are? Because it's opt-in. Yeah. If it was mm -hmm. opt-out, that means I would have to have ID. They're not going to make that mandatory, though. Who's they? U.S. government. Why not? We think they should. We think they should tomorrow. You think they should make it mandatory to opt-in? That adult content mm -hmm. cannot be accessed on any device unless the age assurance is Who's satisfied. pushing that? Who's pushing that today? So it's actually interesting. If you would have asked me eight months ago, I would have said, we're the only ones. That's mm -hmm. changed because now the other social media companies, this is where we share the same issues. You know, Mark Zuckerberg goes in front of Congress and gets lambasted mm -hmm. with, you know, Instagram's trust and safety. They're coming around to, we do need to keep kids out of these spaces mm -hmm. or to have different degrees of access. The only way to do that is with age assurance. And the only way to do age assurance properly is at the device base level. They're, they have now joined that. And you know, there's a chorus and it's growing because we realize we need to age control access to the internet in a way that works and protects people's privacy. The only way to do that uh, is at the device level. I got a big announcement to make. The property I'm on right now, we've been working on buying this property for the last three years. It's one of its last kind in America. Why? Uh, it's on 11 acres, it's got two hangars, it's on an airport, upgrades of $7 million made here. That's going to be the new headquarters of Valley Tayman, Manek, Ben David Consulting, the podcast, the whole nine. And what we wanted to do, we want to find a way to celebrate this as a new headquarters with inviting you to an event on November 5th, which is election night. A lot of different things people will be talking about, business owners, what's going to happen if it goes this way? What's going to happen if it goes that way? So imagine 2,000 people being here. Let me show you around. Some of you will have a private meeting with me. That's the elite. That's going to be a few of you. Some will get a private tour the entire office from us. There's a hangar in the back. So you come up here. Imagine there's going to be a couple major tents, 40 feet by 100 feet, where some of the people that are buying general tickets will be there. But over here inside the hangar is where the podcast will be held. This entire thing will be open like it is right now. Inside of it, myself, the PBD podcast crew, some of the super VIPs will be invited to go upstairs in a section that we have that's got a bar, a restaurant, food, you know, kitchen. You're eating, you're watching it from all the way up there while we're doing the podcast down here in the hangar. So imagine in this room, there's a thousand people, right? While we're going through this whole thing. Conversation, it's gonna be from 6 p.m. is when it starts. All the way up to two o'clock in the morning, who knows, maybe we go three, four o'clock in the morning because a lot of things that's gonna be going on. And by the way, do you know why we're not cutting this? We're on an airport. These are planes, we have to hear because right here is the airport. And FYI, messy place right there at that stadium right behind us. There's five ticket tiers that you can purchase. Each one's got more things to offer. But even locally, there's general tickets to buy for just $75. Bring your uh, wife, bring your husband, bring your family, bring your friends. There's one caveat after you buy the ticket. When you buy the ticket and you come on November 5th, you have to wear Future Looks Bright gear. I'm talking Future Looks Bright hat, a shirt, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to show I got some kind of Future Looks Bright gear because we want everybody here to spread the message and the energy of optimism around the world, back to their states, wherever you're going to be. So November 5th, click on the link above or below, get registered. And if you're watching the same, well, Pat, I like to travel private. Can I bring my private jet here? Five of you guys will be after you buy your ticket, then you can ask us 
and that's only available to the tickets at the highest level possible to bring your jet and park it here. So having said that, get your tickets and I cannot wait to see you November 5th, 6 p.m. at our new headquarters in Fort Lauderdale. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.